Everybody knows the importance of this very valuable item in your life. <laughs> Toilet paper. And speaking with my cousin a couple of days ago, she was telling me about a time when she went to the bathroom to do whatever she had to do, and she then realized there was no toilet paper left. We've all been there. And like any person would do, she started calling out her family members, like her mom, like her dad. But she had one problem. No one heard her. So she then started texting her sister. Now we have our next problem. Her sister was watching a series. And we all know when we are very into watching a movie or a series episode, we dread getting up. Still, her sister gathered all her strength. And as you may imagine, not in the best mood, but she got the toilet paper. Next, about a week later, my cousin, the one who then needed the toilet paper, saw her other sister struggling to finish a homework she had to turn in. And even though she wasn't really happy to be doing schoolwork again, she remembered the time when her sister saved her from a toilet paper crisis. So she proceeded to help her sister finish her homework. Now you may be asking what my talk will be about, because you certainly didn't pay your ticket to come see a toilet paper talk. But it has something to do with giving. Think of this word for a second. When I say giving, I bet most of you will picture something like this. But when you search up the definition of giving, you will actually find this. Providing the love, or other emotional support. Caring. With this new concept in mind, we can also think of giving as giving a hug, a good conversation, or a roll of toilet paper. Personally, I think of giving as an action that for someone else may seem like the world, even when this may seem worthless to me. And part of why I can see something as worthless is that I can't put a price in it, or because I think I am not getting anything in return. But in reality, it's exactly the opposite, because it's when you give that you receive, and this is the reward you get when giving. This is your invisible investment. However, society has stereotyped a reward to be something physical, Something you may see or touch, but this is not always the case. When you are expecting to receive something in return, it is difficult to notice the true reward. Instead, when you selflessly give her help, that is when the true reward becomes obvious. Being able to experience the little things, like the happiness or relief of someone in need. These rewards are more valuable than any other material reward you may get. And once again, when I said someone in need, you most likely imagine something like this. But someone in need may actually be someone in need of a word of wisdom, a true friendship, a smile, time, or a simple roll of toilet paper. Nonetheless, if you really think of it, it is harder to give your time and effort over some money or food. If you check your bank account, I'm sure you could donate five dollars, ten dollars, or some kind of amount of money for someone who needs it more than you do. But if I come here and ask you for thirty minutes of your time to talk, then many will say you're too busy, which is understandable. But I'm just mentioning this to make a point then in many cases, your time is more difficult and valuable to give over any amount of money. But also, it is important to learn to give selflessly without expecting a smile, a thank you, or any type of appreciation gesture back. I invite everyone here 
To help with the purpose of giving, of helping somebody who is going through a tough time. You will always gain something, but you may see it now, tomorrow, months, years, or even decades later. But although you might not notice it, still be assured that you left a positive footprint on someone. Think of this as a seed. However, you don't know what type of seed it is, but you do know it will someday turn into a plant. Think of this plant as your reward, which can grow in a month like a bean plant, or in a couple of years like an avocado tree. But it will always end up growing. I'm going to give you an example that I experienced myself, where the reward I got was materialistic, but I'm just mentioning this to make a point that it is important to give without expecting anything back. Let's backtrack a couple months ago to the last month of 2021, where I was offered to take a service project to my school, Operación Pupusa 2021, with, through which we benefited the maintenance community at my school and the low-income community to be self-sustaining through a food business. All along, keep in mind, I thought I would not be getting any extra social hours or anything else for doing this project. My name wasn't even on the line because I included this as part of my NHS government work. And for me, this project and the experience to do it was my reward. I was ecstatic to be offered this opportunity to take this service project to my school, being able to help my close community and so many more people with the extra food basket. And I was very happy with what we accomplished, which for me was so worth the time and effort it took. However, I didn't know something was actually coming, which took me totally by surprise because a few months later I was told I had won an award from the US NJHS program. And that thanks to Operación Pupusa, I was so told that. What I didn't know at this time was that thanks to Operación Pupusa, I had told you that. For what I knew back in December, my reward had been witnessing all the happy and thankful people receiving their food back. And it wasn't until months later that it got another fight. This time with recognition and even money. So now, with this said, my call for you is to be aware of your surroundings and what people around you may be needing. If you can help, help them, but help them with pure intentions and not expecting anything in return. Because something little for you can mean the world to someone else. Many may think that helping may only be through giving someone money or a plate of food. And with this mindset, we tend to create excuses for why we can't help and why somebody else should do it instead. What if we understood that helping is not only through spending money for somebody else, but it's being alert of what somebody else is truly needing and trying your best to provide that? Most people you will encounter will need a lot of or a conversation to express themselves, not necessarily money or food. So, what if we were the difference? What if we were looking out for those who need help? Being those who have a different mindset of helping others for the purpose of it and not for getting something back. If we all thought like this, just imagine what today may look like. I want everybody here to be with a new mindset, one that is open to helping others, one that is truly eager to help those around them, and one that is expecting nothing in your journey. Because like Martin Luther King once said, if I just help one person to have hope, I will not have lived in vain. And this is a reward you get when giving. This is your invisible investment. Thank you.